In this video, I'm going to show you a more advanced way of using Form Ranger. In our last example, we pulled dog, cat, fish, bird, mouse, and hamster as types of pets people might own from a list that we created here in a spreadsheet. And if we ever had a new type of pet we wanted to add, we could just type it in here and it would automatically add itself to our list. This time, however, we want people to be able to add their own options. This is pretty trivially easy when you're using um, a multiple choice or a drop down list, but it comes, becomes pretty complicated when you're using a checklist like this. And I'll show you why. The data that you collect in the form responses is all in each in one cell separated by a comma and space. So for example, this person owns a cat, dog and bird. Each of those items is separated by a comma and space. So how do we deal with this? Well, let me show you. The first thing we want to do is separate the things that are coming in here in our form response. And it's really important that whenever you're working with form data, not to manipulate every anything at all in the form response area, just leave that alone. So I've created a new sheet here and it's called pet data. The first thing I'm going to do is pull everything into this sheet dynamically with a query. So I'm going to use my query function. And the first thing we want to do is tell it which data we're working with. And we're working with column A and B from the form response form. Uh, we'll put a comma and then we build our query. So I'm going to make this really simple and just select column A and B. And that's it. Close quote, close bracket. And column A and B will come in. Anytime new items are added to the list, they'll automatically just come over here because of the query. All right, let's start our hard work. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use um, a function called split to split this data apart. So it's called split. And the way it works is we give it some text. And we give it a delimiter. Delimiter just means what separates each item in the list. And in this case, it's a comma and a space. So within double quotes, I put a comma and a space, close quote, close bracket, hit return. And you can see we've got dog, cat and bird. Now, it sometimes suggests to autofill the rest of the column. We're going to do it slightly differently, though. We want to be able this data to automatically fill in no matter how long this list is. So I'm going to go ahead and choose cell C here. Command C. I'm going to choose the whole column and command V down the entire column. Now you can see this gives us a little error here. No problem. We'll just write pet up here. And there we go. So that all looks good. Now we get this error here, but that's fine. Okay, so the next step is to get everything into one column. Right now, all of our animals are spread out from column C through H, and we need one column with all of those options in there. And so we're going to use the flatten command. And the way it works is we just give it a range. So we want C, D, E, F, G, H, and even I. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and have it ignore the header. So we'll start from C2 and go to I. Close bracket. And now it gives us all of these rows flattened. That gives us a lot of extra space that's being used. And so we're going to use a filter command next. So I'm going to go ahead over here and say equals filter. And we're going to filter out all of the unnecessary empty spaces. So again, to do that, we're going to give it a range. So everything in column J. And we're going to say, oops, we're going to start from J2 through J. And the way this works is we say we want everything in J2 through J that doesn't equal nothing. The less than greater than means is not equal to an open close quote with nothing in between means doesn't equal nothing. Here we go. Hit return. And now everything's nicely compressed into one column without any unnecessary space. The last thing we want to do is find only the unique items in this list. And so for that, we use the command or the, um, the formula called unique 
For that, it wants a range, so anything in column K, although we don't need the header again, so we start from K2 to K. And that returns only the unique items, which are dog, cat, bird, hamster, mouse, and fish. This last step is just for fun, but we're going to count each item using the count if function. So we'll count anything that appears in this list. So to do that, we give it a range. So it's going to look in the entire column K. But again, we can skip the header and we'll say anything in column K that is equivalent to what's here in L2. And we can see eight dogs, and we'll just go ahead and hit the check mark to have it completed. Eight dogs, six cat, three birds, hams, three hamsters, two mouses, two fish. All right, let's get back to our form. We now have our column that has our unique animals in there. Back in our form, we've already set up a form ranger uh, that is allowing us to pull this data, but right now it's pulling it from the pet list here. We want to pull it now from our column called unique in this form. So let's do that. We'll go ahead and pull up form ranger by pushing the puzzle piece and going to form ranger. We'll go ahead and push start. And we can see we're already dynamically pulling this stuff from our spreadsheet. And we're going to give that, uh, we're going to modify that now. So I'll say edit range. Now, if I hadn't already, the first thing I would do is select the spreadsheet that I'm using which in this case is our pet survey response sheet. Now I'll go here under sheet name. Instead of sh pet list, we want pet data. Next, it gives us a list of potential headers we can use. And the one we want to use is unique. That chooses all the animals that are unique that have been entered already. And we'll go ahead and push next. And let's call this pets dynamic because every time someone now adds something to the list, it'll automatically be added here. We'll say save and populate. It's really important over here on the right hand side that we've selected on form submit, it auto repopulates questions. So turn this on. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add the other option. What that means is that people can automatically add their own item to the list. So let's give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and fill out my form. And let's say I have uh, another type of animal. Let's say I have a pig. I'll add that to the list. Hit submit. Let's see what happened in the spreadsheet. So over here, we can see pig has now been added. It's been added to our list here. And if we look at the very bottom of our filtered list, there's pig. And if we look at our unique list, there is pig as well. Now let's look back at our form. Let's submit another response and we should see pig is now on the list. Let's vote for pig again and this time let's add another animal, maybe a cow, and submit. Again when we look at our form, there's pig and cow. Cow is now added to our unique list and when we go to submit another response, cow is added to the list too. So this allows us to dynamically allow people filling out our form to add items to the checklist as you go. So I'm sure you can think of a lot of very useful reasons you might want to be able to do that.